Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with my feed. I'm Vickis, and with me as usual are Dazzling Adder and Brother Entropy. Hello, it's a me! Oh God damn it. <laughs> You're not doing that. I, I, that was the only time. That was the Good. only time, I swear. We had to get the intro in. Okay, new, new, and... new level. Yes, a new level that we actually went in at the very start of the video because we have nothing outside to do. The second floor doesn't really have much except for levels, to be honest. So yeah, this, which is, which is not, a good this thing. level has an I'm interesting mad. gimmick, and by interesting gimmick, I mean fuck water puzzles. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. This is a uh, wet dry world, and as you can see, you can make it wet or dry. Clever. I mean, it's not so bad in Mario because Mario is a good game, but other games inevitably ate this and it never ended well. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you're blaming Mario for everything that's wrong with the world. Well, no, I'm just... Everything's wrong with water. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Mario, he tried with water. He really did, but he can't do everything. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of just set the tone for everything else. Here's a star that doesn't actually have anything to do with water. For whatever reason. Those are those are cool blocks, though, I guess. Yep, and That's they don't appear anywhere else in the game. Where did that fire come from? That little dot. Uh, that little dot. Oh, I did not see that. Unfortunately... That was... Yeah, that thing's pretty... Now, I will give them credit that the water made stuff like that a lot less painful. Yes, yeah, certainly. If we had annoying. fallen all the way down and had to go all the way back up after that little thing, that would have been bad. Plus, it lets me show off something else. Even though this thing, this star, is ostensibly about these shocking arrow lifts, there's a pretty easy way to cheese this thing. Well, easy if you're not using your feet. Oh, can you just, like, jump across? In theory. <laughs> uh. Hypothetically. If we were to assume that the person playing this had hands, then yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Much better. See? Oh, not again! <laughs> no, if, if you're on fire, if you, like, jump into a wall, it can you just hug the wall. Yeah, exactly. If you if you hug the wall, you can either run straight into it or just kind of jump upwards and keep yourself from doing what I did before. Those little flamethrowers are complete assholes. Oh, yeah. They, they start putting them in a lot of uh, interesting locations as you go onward with the game. Most of the time, you can't even see them. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't even notice that one was there. Now, we are going to demo a certain something. Oh, yeah, this... Notice... The exit course feature. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the exit course feature. Which you can't <laughs> use in mid-fall, so don't try and cheese it, folks. Nope, if you're in the air, you cannot exit a course. But the feature that we were actually doing is Lakitu's inability to... There we go. <laughs> the feature that I swear to God we're eventually going to demo is... Nope, this takes oh, forever, right, too. Oh, right, right. Okay. God, I, I'm terrible at these lead-in things. Now I know what you mean. Yep. <laughs> For those not in the know... Don't, don't spoil it. Oh, fine. <laughs> don't spoil it for the next ten seconds. <laughs> we, we made it eventually. There we go. The water level is now a lot higher than it was last time we were in there. Weird. This is really confusing when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I didn't get that. Basically, the height that you jump into the picture determines how high the water is. I'm not actually sure how many levels you can do, like how many different levels of water there are. But this here is the highest one, and it's actually the only way to get the water up this high. And that guy's an asshole. Yep. His yep. name is Chuck, yeah. Okay. I think those I of think you we... who watched my very special video... Oh, okay. That. I was going to say, like, I think I've heard that one, but then I remembered <laughs> it was in that video. Yep. Chuckya's gimmick is that you can't kill him, and he throws you places you don't yeah, want he, to go. He chucks you. He, he doesn't even have the... Him, he doesn't even have the decency to do damage, he just throws you. He just throws you, lets the gravity do his work. Whoop. Like that. <laughs> exactly. Chucky is sort of like a thin platform. So many things in life are... <laughs> Eventually you just kind of take these things. Fortunately, not many things in life are like thin platforms with electric sparks and flamethrowers on them. God. <laughs> Up here is kind of just like a little obstacle course that... <laughs> It has a star on the end of it. <laughs> Why is it? Yeah, like... A lot of this level is features. Also, goofy. since we're up so high, you can see, like, there's actually a gigantic city texture in the we're background. We're like in ancient yeah, Greece that's, here. That's kind of weird. Wait, 
kind of strange adobe buildings. Wait. It kind of gives you the feeling that you're in a city, but you would never see that. Or, wait, not ancient Greece. Yeah. This is like modern Greek architecture. What am I saying? I don't know. I kind of get like a, a Pueblo Navajo Indian Pickle. or the what you call it. It's a little too. Adobe. It's a little too blurry to really make it out. <laughs> a little too Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a texture in the background. I mean, for all I know, and it could be not, a dragon. <laughs> it's not the sky, so it's worth pointing out. Mm hmm. Yes. Anyway, these basically these things are all over the level, so we gotta s swim pretty much everywhere to be able to raise and lower the water level. So I'm gonna say that this level had a lot of good ideas, but it's hindered by it being a water level and that you move so slow in water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it. As far as the water's levels go, it's far and away the best one because so much of it is not because in you water. Can make it not, you can make it less of a water yes, level. Exactly. But I mean, they they do put like these ideas to use because there's certain things that you can do in the level that you have to like really it cuts things off and kind of does it in a much more natural way, I guess, than DK64 did it. We well, don't yeah. have to mention that game every video, guys. <laughs> what do you mean every video? This is like the first time I've brought it up in a while. Did, okay, did I, or maybe we, ever. Did, anyway, anyway, did we bring up last video? Yes, we did. Anyway, that little guy that just is also a Chuck you like is I don't know his name, but he's. He's uh, much. He's evil. He's much more helpful, actually, because you can actually cl cover a lot of vertical ground with him. Yes, he is. You can actually use that thing to um, get up higher in the level when the water level is low. Because if not for him, you would have to raise the water level just to get to this up part, which is, uh, which, like I said, is uh, kind of an interesting thing about the level. Oh, do I demo that? <laughs> I, I don't know, Vicus. You tell me. You, you tell me. Are you are you spoiling things for are you, are you spoiling my LP without having watched it? I have kind of have a knack for that. It's happened more than once. <laughs> Not in LPs, but just in other stuff. You're basically psychic. Well, no, I basically have pattern recognition and foreknowledge, which is yeah, I'm basically that's, psychic. Well, that, Same that's thing. the closest thing you're gonna get to psychic. There we go. See, this is that's you can use this guy to get up, and it lets you skip making the water level higher, which of course is something we don't want to do. Anyway, this star is a little uh, similar to that little thing in the pyramid, where you have to find magic numbers. Yep. Yeah, it's so weird one. This one is just crazy, though, because like if you didn't actually know where these are, you'd pretty much be yeah. searching all over. Yeah, you would be knocking everything with your head the level. Mm-hmm. I mean, on the plus side, everything is like... I guess in something, you know, like there's a little conspicuous block down there that we pushed in for one. Um, a lot of them have been in those coin blocks. This last one is too. Well, not technically, uh, since you didn't actually break kind of, it, but you hit the right weird. spot. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's it's touching the right you thing. Like the, I think I mentioned this in an early you video. You touch a certain yeah, you touch a certain spot rather than actually breaking something. Those guys look like Abe from Oddworld. <laughs> I just uh, noticed that. Sure. Interesting. I didn't ever see that before. These enemies only appear in this level, by the way. Well, only the face, not the, the arms and stuff. Well, right. yeah, I hope. <laughs> yeah, Abe is actually a um, water <laughs> that skitter. That one game where Abe is a spider. <laughs> I love that odd world game. Ooh, this star. I don't like this star. Hurry up. That doesn't sound good. Well, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really like stars that admonish me to do something either. <laughs> like, I'll take my own pace, thank you! <laughs> no, but what this star is, is the star that's inside of that cage there. We're going to have to uh, get creative in finding a way to get in there. Hmm. You could always... I would also like to note that the game does not let you use the highest water level for this star. It is impossible to do it because of that brick right there. Uh... And we'll see why they did that uh, while we're watching this monstrosity. Oh, right, I got no coins here. I swear to God, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Those guys are nice because when they're on land, they're really easy to beat and give three coins. Like, I guess, pretty much every enemy. Yeah, it's not exactly an uncommon trait. <laughs> The other thing about this level is it gets a little samey after a while. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even that spider looks kind of bored. I, the problem is, it's not... It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. The main gimmick is the water level. I, I think the problem is... Right, I think the problem is that it can kind of take a while to... Get yes. the water, you know, like to change the water levels to the right place, especially when you have to start swimming around things. It can, it just kind of, you know, slows everything down. Right. Anyway, let's see if this helps us. Oh, of course, this is gonna help us. But here's the main idea of the level and oh, the express elevator okay. in the title. If you jump on that platform, it comes all the way down and lets you swim through that hole. And then because the Swimming controls are terrible. Uh, that happens. It lets you start all over again. How gracious. Yep. And then you have to go all, all the, way the way back, back up, up there. And we're not going to have to watch that whole thing. But we are going to have to watch my failed attempt, so enjoy. <laughs> if you're not playing this with your feet, it's actually a lot easier. Uh, it's easier, but it's still kind of annoying. Especially because I was working under the assumption that it would probably help me if I had the water level lower, you know, so that I would fall further, go faster. But it turns but... out that that's not what you're actually supposed to do. Oh, okay. You want the water level to be higher, because that means you'll have more room to swim up when you're in there and actually get in right, to the right. thing. I think I remember doing this star, what was easiest for me, if a little damaging, was to set the water level <laughs> to the lowest level, and use the little dustpan guys to get up, and that way I can mm -hmm. just wall jump onto the platform. That also makes sense. You, hmm. The key with that one is that you do have to beat the elevator back, as you can see. Wouldn't you have to like wall jump all the way up? Like, that's well, no, not, necess not necessarily. You just have to wall jump onto the platform in there. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, okay. that definitely helps. Yeah, and that, that's a, that's another way to do it. And that's that's one thing I like that because this level has a whole bunch of different things working for it. A lot of the stars do have like multi-path kind of things. Like I said, this level has a lot of good ideas. It's just the implementation is a little. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit like your performance to get the star. <laughs> <laughs> On the plus side, if you realize that there's no way in hell you're gonna get it, you can get a free ride back up, which is always helpful. And. I really, if like you were doing this live, I would just yell at you to hand me the controller so I could do it for you. This is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> you could yell that anyway. Oh, come on. You got this. You got this, man. Uh, fuck you. Uh, come on. <laughs> okay, this is it. I'm not getting mad at you for your failures. I'm getting mad at you for leaving them in. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't leave in all of the going back. If you did, I would have just left. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good by job. Way, Good job. This is, yeah, by the way, this is the highest you can set the water level and still be able to hit that switch to get up here. And I mean, I think it's, it's possible to get that, to get up here using rather complicated methods, but that's pretty much... At that point, it becomes you know, more work than it would be. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's less of a shortcut if you do that. I don't even remember. Okay, we go high in this level. It's usually better to start off higher up because you can always make the water level go lower. But like I said earlier, you can't. This is the only way to get it this high. Right. Now these on the plus side, these last two stars you go up here, I like. it makes it really easy. Oh yeah, here's this is an interesting section. We get another view of that village out there. Whatever that is. But here's an interesting section that uh, honestly some people probably don't even know about. Yeah, I didn't know this was here. <laughs> oh wow. It's it's kinda just off into the corner, then you would never really pay attention yeah, to it when cool. you're playing the level normally. But the last two stars in the level are in fact both in here. A little town. Oh huh. So and I'm I'm to understand that some people are scared of this place. Well, I can s <laughs> I think it's like scared of the level in general. I can see it's a little a little unsettling maybe because like I guess like, we are in a like gigantic like underwater an town. town. Yeah, it's like all sunken and I don't know. And there's spiders. It's like not as dumb okay, as regular they... water piers, I guess, but I don't know. <laughs> Hydrophobia is dumb. Thing. <laughs> well, okay, but not like, okay, not like, not, just, not like regular water, but like, you know, uh, you know, fuck the ocean, 
new guy from Fall Guys. Oh, that crap. Oh, well, yeah, that's just goons being retarded. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> this, I can kind of get this <laughs> more than that kind of stuff. There's, there's probably a Cthulhu joke that we can make somewhere in here. Let's not go. Uh, I honestly don't think there is, but I'm not, like, a big Love, Lovecraft fan, so... Well, you just need to know that one story. If you want to, go hog wild. <laughs> Anyway, you've probably noticed that the red coins are conspicuously absent from the main level, and that's because they're all in here. And they're actually cleverly placed so that pretty much all of them, except for like the one that we got on top of the uh, tower, you can't get them unless the water level is lowered, because they're all in these boxes. Um, I think that's a steeple. Because they're all in the box. Yeah, steeple. Yeah, because they're all in the boxes, and you can't do anything about a box when it's underwater. Not not creepy steeple, mind you, just a steeple. <laughs> just, just regular old steeple. I don't know, steeples are pretty creepy by default. <laughs> I, I probably just I probably just caused a bunch of Thousand Year Door fans to recoil in horror. <laughs> This one, this attempt is going to go much better, I swear. Whoop! Ow. <laughs> he's, he's basically developed a much thicker skull by this point. He basically, doesn't even phase him. You'd at this point, like... After how many games of this stuff? <laughs> I mean, his main method of collecting things is to hit blocks with his head, so... So yeah, yep. it's like, come on. He should be used to it. He's fine. He also might be a little punch drunk. Um, I don't actually know what this switch does. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So, nothing important then? Yep. I think it makes a stairway somewhere. But it's actually been a long time <laughs> that's, that's, since I've played that's what this they level. That's what they usually do. Yeah, it probably makes a stairway to get to one of the roofs, but we just used some clever acrobatics to do that, because we're men here. Me and Mario. We're doing a fist bump right now. And you don't value your skulls. <laughs> I value it very highly. It's the only thing keeping my cranial damage minor. Oh, also, God. That work. Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was never going to happen, though. I don't think that's a jump you're supposed to be able to make. Yeah, that seems a little out of your reach. This, honestly, I could see this being where stairs appear, but we're just going to wall jump. They will work. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will they tell They do. Us. <laughs> yep, someone will know exactly what they do, and that's really all that I look for from from participation in my thread. Well, that and bad puns. Whoa, uh, we don't really look for that. Well, you need to get your episode <laughs> titles from somewhere. It just kind of happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't take suggestions uh, in the thread. Oh. The, la the last two coins are right here and here, by the way. <laughs> kind of easy location. But I like that. Also, you might notice the little fire thing, like the little fireball spewing things are like on the ground there. Right. I don't think it's possible to activate those. And even if, even if you could, they're a little weird. less than threatening. Well, they're no, yeah, they're not that important. But like, because the water level here is low, I mean, you might be able to do it if you somehow found a way up to the cannon in this level with the water level at its lowest, but that's the only way I can even imagine right. being able to activate them at all. So they're basically completely superfluous. Yeah, the way that's you're supposed weird. to get here is to shoot yourself via cannon. Mm -hmm. I actually don't like to do it this way because <laughs> I don't really like having the long water tunnel. It's a little uncomfortable. Even mm. though like it was really easy to do and like, well, he was you know, not like, worried about health at all. It was a habit that I picked up from a kid. That yeah, kid being and me. of course... And, it's like, and you get people shit for like being scared of water and stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, when, you, when the first time you play the game, it's really hard to judge how, how long the tunnel's gonna be. It's not because I'm afraid of water, it's because I have a habit. <laughs> okay. Speaking of water, um, you also need to raise the water level to its highest level to be able to do this, at least. I think so. There might be a crazy triple jump method, but let's just keep it easy. Know, it the only way to talk to the bomb is like this, and this is important because we have to collect the 100 coins. It doesn't look like there's anything nearby. Yeah, it's, it's that, that floating platform right there is the only way, yeah. and 
I'm not sure. You might be able to do it with the water level one lower. I was gonna say. But... I was gonna say maybe you could like shoot the cannon there, but no, that's not. <laughs> shoot the cannon to the thing that activates the cannon. Yes, it does get the cannon. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Brilliant. That said, we will lower the water level all the way and basically work our way up the level getting coins. Can I just sort of tune out for this? <laughs> Is that what we kind of already do for these videos? In general. Well, no, I, I make a nominal attempt to pay attention when we're actually doing interesting things, but... <laughs> well, well only, the only rule is you can't actually mute your mic, mic and leave. Oh, okay. That, that's a privilege only for when I am the hostess. Yes. <laughs> we've, we've already done that. On the plus side, this is like the one water level where... I don't know, the, the coins aren't like... impossible. Because you can make the water not there, so... Well, yeah, but it's it's also because there's more than, like, 107 coins in it, too. Uh, that, that is a good thing, because you just missed five. Yep. That would have sucked. I also think that there's coins up here, but it turns out I'm wrong. <laughs> no. It's worth a try. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually, spoilers, gonna get the 100 coin star before we even get to the, what before we even go back to the town, which is where the actual star is. Oh, huh. Like, there's there's a ton of there are, there coins in the town, too. Yep. You know what? We got time. www.gamefacts.com oh, Check the Mario wiki. Say hello to my friends on the inside. <laughs> Super Mario 64... Let's check, take a look at the video. Oh, I'm collecting coins. <laughs> um, oh, Christ. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm not watching. Guide. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Bright Guy, if you're watching this, thanks for your walkthrough. That's basically where I've gotten all of the information about coin numbers. What was his name? His name is Bright Guy. Bright I don't guy. know if he's even a person on the internet, because I'm sure this guide was... Oh, last updated 2003. Oh, so. wow. So... <laughs> I'm uh, sure. It, hey, I'm sure his dead spirit hears you and is honored. <laughs> you never know. Let's see. Wet Dry World has 152 coins. Oh, good. So there you that's, go. It's a pretty good number. I think that's yes. more than like a lot of maps. Yeah. That, that is. Seems like... That might even be like. The, it's pretty high. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's cool, pretty cool high. Cool Mountain has 100. Uh, cool Cool Mountain has more than it. 154. Oh wow. Um, Big Boo's Haunt has 151 because of all the blue, of blue coins. Blue cool Cool Mountain was the slide. Oh, right, the um, Let's see. And other than that, the only one that's higher than it is Tiny Huge Island, which is a massive 192 coins. Jeez. Yep. That is counterbalanced by the map itself being fucking huge. <laughs> and it still took you three hours. The two maps <laughs> being huge. It's because it's, it's two separate maps, and it has a blue coin star, and it has a bunch of enemies that give blue coins. Uh, it's it's basically like a cornucopia of coins. Yeah, you use that word like twice in this session. <laughs> it's a good Do you word. like Thanksgiving a lot or something? And I almost I almost said cornucopia. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! And we, we okay, it's like too early to cut off now. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I think we could but afford we could. it. Uh, I mean, nothing's gonna interesting gonna happen. We can't just like not say anything for the next four minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, you, you don't always get those opportunities. I had to go for it. <laughs> anyway, slight musical note, this is pretty much the only predominantly water level that doesn't have the Jolly Roger Bay theme, it has the remix sewer the cave theme. theme. Yep, the cave oh, you can pick this those guys up! I didn't know that. that. Yes, I, I was actually gonna mention that, but I figured you might be joking. <laughs> I honestly don't know, I didn't remember that. I, Mm-hmm. Nice. I, I wasn't sure, but I figured it's gonna have come up later in the video. Yes, you can chuck Chuck at himself. So you might say that he was hoist That's by his he... own petard. Or Mario. Pretty much. He, he was accurately was petard. Petard. Ho hoisted by Mario. I don't, Mario. Is. <laughs> I don't even know what a petard is. It's just that you get yeah, hoisted I mean, by one. It's just a phrase. Ooh, here we're gonna get it. We're actually gonna get another lovely view at the uh, very low res skybox. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird that they do that. Because this is how you get over here. It seems like a, it's a strange choice. I mean, yeah, you can you get a really good view of the city. Why there's a city, I don't know. It's, it's really strange. Ancient city or layer, something like that. 
I don't know. Hey, you didn't actually hit your head. I was fearing for Mario's status as non-concussed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he hit it. It just didn't register things so it much. It like slid know. off, so... Anyway, we didn't need that long tunnel sequence because you know how much I hate long tunnel sequences. I'm not scared of it! <laughs> <laughs> Instead, we just get to the meat of this thing, which is the reason that there's an invisible cap here. There's actually also a metal cap for some reason. Probably if you it's want to, like, bother with doing stuff underwater, I guess. Can you... I mean, I guess if you use the metal cap, you might Can be you able punch to punch the, the bricks. Blocks? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It could be, but it's also very difficult to get up on the roofs when you're in the well, water because you, you can't well, you really like that. jump very high. Yeah, and you just sink straight down. Interesting, though. I'd never really thought of it that way. I think it's mostly because Metal Mario is freaking sweet. Mm, very true. They need they need to put them in every water level, I guess. By the way, the big problem with this level is I you may be able to or the big problem with this specific star as you may be able to tell is that Lakitu can't really get through this grate. Well, he's not a ghost. He's well, gotten he's... through other walls before, so but like the, the whole thing is done with these gigantic bars. The whole thing is done with these gigantic bars in front of you, and it's really annoying. But at least we're through it. <laughs> and there we go. That's the second floor, halfway done. Join us next time for more mystery and intrigue. But join us this time for Mario falling asleep. <laughs> well, what does sleeping Mario dream of? Ponder that. Intrigue. Wet sheep. <laughs> I like that. I don't. I, I didn't. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I, I Why did the silence, you say but it? I kind of wish I hadn't. I... Because I had to say so... Because no one was saying anything. You didn't have to say anything! Sometimes it's fine just to leave I silence. felt like I did, because... Because we've got, like, t ten seconds left of, like, no one... Uh, why do you add these things? <laughs>